Bald's errors are left unattended. CS has become nothing but a sweet memory from its golden era in the past year itself, Valve ignores thousands of player complaints with the state of the game, leaving us frustrated and feeling betrayed by the silence. I have come through the internet to get a clearer picture of the glitches ruining matches, game breaking bugs, servers being filled with bots, Valve banning non cheaters, shots not registering. What the hell was that? To unfair cheats being used from casual to premiere. With all these shortcomings from Valve's most important game, I fear the worst. Do I like the game, bro? It's not ready yet. It's fucking trash right now. Dude, what? What did they do to our boy? <laughs> our boy. Oh well, our our teammate is cheating. There's no way <laughs> this, this game. This is game so is cooked. Bad. Everyone is dick riding this game. I'm not gonna lie, bro. They're probably like 5k right there. Can I see them and see this ball? I can. Look, 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 look. I see them. <laughs> I see their guns. He's on window. There's triple and. Oh, man! I don't get it! What a time, huh? Not only are we able to witness the downfall of CS2, but we get to experience it too, sadly enough. And as I show you, we are not the only ones who feel like this. Yeah, that game. Valve try not to break their game challenge yeah. hard. Literally, Valve will ban everyone except for a cheater. Out of 27 games, I got 61 cheaters all games were around 20,000 elo and it's affecting everybody because you can't play the game no! if you do a little google search you will find that across the internet people are talking about how bad valve's game is and seriously considering him boycotting oh no bro this is not just people crying or bitching about like the usual thing this is an entire different thing the entire cs2 community agrees that since the launch of cs2 in september 27th 2023 the game has not been the same since then there's literally a clip of a dude joining a match and as it starts all of his teammates start body hopping and looking at the ground there's even people who are not ashamed of cheating and streaming their matches with their hacks showing and everything Valve is pretty much known for the monumental achievements with their games and Steam, but now those are just napkins blown by the wind. Especially with how they dealt with hashtag save TF2. By being fucking quiet. They literally sent a tweet saying how oh, we hear you, we hear your community on TF2, we hear you, we love this game just as much as you do, and we'll do our best to make it be alive. Motherfuckers, this was two years ago. Since then, just radio silence. No communication, no nothing. Look, I may only have 300 hours in the game, but even I feel that this is not good for a game as popular as CS. I mean, it literally made the pathway for esports to become what it is today and brought normal gamers from rage to riches. If Valve does nothing about the game, this is like David and the Giant. If David Valve wants to save the game, the people, of the giant cheater bugs and glitches then dave has to take down the giant what i mean is that valve better start picking up the slack or the gamers that made them successful will be their downfall think about it if this is how the situation is for experienced players in cs how will it be for new beginners they would not understand the fun of the game but would understand that the only way to enjoy and win in this game is by installing cheats and becoming a cheater because the only way someone can be better than you is because they're cheating. So now you have to cheat, right? What the fuck is wrong with you? There's map issues, there's gun mechanics, as I said before. Like, there's unfair advantage depending on which side of the map you spawn in. Also, unfair advantage of, ooh, when the game decides for your shot to actually hit or go through the enemy. Or do less damage than it should do or just disappears you know there's many clips on the internet where he shows this what and many streamers have shown shit. that this is just stupid they have expressed how they feel about this 
missing their op shots missing headshots don't do not doing enough damage just stupid that's a stupid idea what it's a stupid idea you're a stupid man a stupid stupid man ow you're hurting me stop it stop it lois no <laughs> And funny enough, someone did a comparison a little while ago, which I'm questioning why couldn't Valve do this? They could just fix this by trying to compare and contrast and see like, oh, we did this wrong, we did that wrong. We can try to understand why and how to fix it. They could have done that. But why didn't they? Why didn't they just do that? Here's another issue, and it's in a big no no pile of errors with this game. In case you didn't know, a couple of months ago, if you increase your DPI in the game a bit too much, the anti-cheat system will think of you as either a bot or a cheater and kick you out of the game and ban you. This has happened to a lot of people. Also happened again, but this time it happened because you were just existing. If, for example, you were to kill your grandfather, you'd cease to exist. <gasps> but existing is basically all I do. Uh, CS updated the game, right? And a fix, right? And that fix banned thousands of players. Ten th tens of thousands. Any idea why people are getting banned? Absolutely no idea. Why is everyone getting banned? I don't know. No one knows. It's guaranteed an error, a mistake. But why? Thousands of people have gotten banned so far. How the fuck are they gonna fix this? Yesterday's update mistakenly triggered game bans. We've fixed the issue and ban rollbacks are in progress. I'm pretty sure most people who got banned are now unbanned, but this is still very stupid. People lose their trust in VAC Live a little bit. It feels a little bit more sketchy now because you get randomly banned left and right. Sure, they fix it, but there's still a lot of people who have been banned but aren't unbanned and it's not fixed. Honestly, at this point, I, it all seems too unreal to be true. I actually expect them to say that all the errors they have made in CS2 were so far made in the heat of the moment while they sing in the heat of the moment. It was the heat of the moment. Telling me what your heart meant The heat of the moment Shown in your ass I would think that's kind of funny But it's just boring, annoying, and or irritating What a clusterfuck our game has become because of them What the fuck? Um, we may be getting cheated here by this Alexis character. Nobody is cheating in Vax secured servers, bro. All right, there we go. Right. Yeah, you got it. Did go up lane. I'm smoked. I'm smoked. Up lane. No way. I just got walk peeped. Four of us got one D. I didn't hear a single extra shot get even sent. Yeah, dude, binary is cheating his dick off. Why is it that? Oh man, 3.15 KD. But his CS2 is even higher. 3.6 KD, 100% win rate. He's not losing. I don't know what Valve is trying to accomplish here, but if they continue this path, they will surely go off road and crash the game into the ground. And maybe that way that can actually fucking teach them a lesson. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Simply put, the AI anti cheat system doesn't catch anything. It's like the rocket team just never catching any Pokemon and being blasted off over and over again and again and again. It doesn't make sense why Evolve chose to make an AI system from the ground up that relies on collecting data over time before catching the bad guys and actually banning them. Boo this man! No! When they could have just used real people to actually monitor and ban cheaters as they happen. Get the fuck out of my point. Providing immediate and effective enforcement, protecting me, us and the game. I have an idea. Now, who knows? Maybe Valve will actually listen and will be like, oh, yeah, I guess we do have to fix this. Maybe. Just maybe they will actually listen without them actually getting hurt. 
Maybe. Just maybe. Or we can actually tell them enough is enough. Just like League of Legends players did with a five hundred dollar skin. And if they can do it, we can too. Come on, they're League of Legend players. League of Legend players. They didn't buy the skin, but ban every other whale that bought it. If we work together and decide to stop playing the game entirely, then no more buying cases. No more buying keys. No more buying skins or stickers or anything. Just no more CS. No premiere. No castle. No deathmatch. Feels like with COVID, quarantine yourself from CS until Valve actually gets hurt and they have to do something that the community really needs. Maybe with this, Valve will learn the lesson and give us the game that we want. Give us back CS!